Okay, so chatting. Now, a chat will be a representation of the data. Uh, so simply it's a representation of data in a visual form. So like you can see here we have data, but in case maybe I want to create information. No. Yeah, the chat will help you creating information out of data. Like for example, yeah, the only thing I can see here are numbers. I can consume the numbers, yes, and try to make uh, some of the things out of the whole thing but if i want to create a visualization one of the best thing of uh, doing that will be now creating a chart and we have so many ways of doing that now we have several types of them like for example we have pivot charts and then you have the normal chart so now when you know what you are working with like for example you're working with a with growing that data or maybe dynamic data meaning that you have a table that will either keep growing or shrinking or maybe you might filter uh, the data that you want but you want also that to reflect on your chart so that will be a different different kind of a chart other than like the one we are going to start off with because now this will be a static one and uh, they are the simplest ones to make because this will just you have a data set like this you have a table you want to just create a visualization out of maybe one of the column one of the row but uh, this is not going to change in the future and in case maybe this changes you'll have to go manually and create your chart or add an entry on your chart so that will be now so I usually divide them into two, those which are dynamic and others which are not. And uh, we have so many of them. If you click on insert and then you go to charts, you have so many of them. Like we have the pivot charts, which will now help you when you have dynamic data. And then we have others here, like you can choose the tables, uh, the bars, uh, the scatter charts. You can also, in case maybe you don't know how or what to decide on you can let microsoft excel choose that for you you just click on recommended charts and it will give you maybe one of them that will suit the data that you have there like you can see here we have a pie chart we have a line chart we have bar graphs here and are there all representation of the data that you have there so one thing that's common in all of them you'll have to have a table and your data should be organized in a way that you can be able to like plug them into the charts that you have and uh, now creating uh, your chart, you can see now we have our table here. This is the table and uh, you can see here we have the regions and then we have the months. These are the new customers that we got on January, February, March, April, May, all the way. So my data goes all the way up to, up to May. Now uh, let's first of all create a chart and uh, let's see what Microsoft will recommend us. Just click on our recommended charts and uh, you can just see what you have here let me just pick one of them the first one there then click on ok and you can see directly here you have a chart um and uh, you can see we have various uh, labels like you can see this this is the chart type okay you can change this like you can call this new customers control a control v now you can see this is a <coughs> The, um, the chart this is the heading of the chart you can move it by dragging it around uh, if you notice if you click on it there uh, you have this highlighted let me just close this you're going to come to that later mm. so you can just drag your mouse around up to where you're going to see this kind of a plus sign so you can be able to drag this around to where you want that uh, to be you can release it or if for example you don't want to have this you can just delete this by just making sure that you highlight that and then you click on you 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 press on delete uh, sorry just deleted uh, that one so you can use that or you can just go ahead and right click and uh, you're going to delete you have this option here you can just delete if you want to edit the content inside there what I usually do just go there after highlighting you just click again you can go ahead and now type whatever new that you want to type there in case maybe you want to um, format whatever you have on your screen like uh, you can see here, I want to change the fonts etc etc the field color you can go ahead and double click on it so you're going to have this I hope you can see it so I have the field color in case maybe that's what you want you can just go ahead and uh, click on that to collapse everything and uh, you can either decide to have a solid field where you're going to select the color that you want from this drop down there 
or you can have no fill you just want to have only uh, the title and nothing else you can have a gradient and in the gradient you can uh, dictate how that gradient is going like like for example you want maybe the gradients uh, being vertical and uh, you want that to the gradient to go from the top all the way down so you can select the colors from this end here and again you can type you, you can uh, uh, decide to change the type of um, the gradients that you are working with you, you can have the radio one rectangular so yeah about those you can go ahead and uh, change the border like you can see now we have uh, the borders surrounding our title there you can just expand that and uh, maybe you want a solid line you want to have maybe transparency you want to increase the uh, the border the width of that line which is the border of that uh, of our title there there's so many things you can do so in case maybe you want to change that to represent maybe a certain theme you can go ahead and do that again you can um, decide to i don't want to keep doing that i just only want to go and grab a template that will look good so you, you see here after you select your chart you're going to have an, an additional uh, tab here which is now the chart designs you have several of them you can click and see which one will work best for you they are all different maybe you might want to have this one or that one or that one they're all different if the ones that are here are not enough you can click on this drop down like that you have additional ones here you can see maybe i want this one you can just go ahead and click it so that will be about now the physical representation you can go ahead and uh, revert back to what you are using now uh this is now the chart again on this one you can uh, decide to work on the the size this is the the last option here you want uh, to control the size of which you can also use uh you can see the corners and the top here you have the bottom here the sides i want to make it uh, a little bit slimmer you can just drag it from this end can see everything will resize according to now the new area again you drag it again you're going to have it occupying the new area the same case goes to uh, this other option here you can just go ahead and do that uh, this other corner this is now when you want to work with uh, both the length and the height you can just go ahead and use the corner in any of the corners you just do the same thing so you can resize maybe you want that to fit in a certain area so that when you're printing it will become maybe it will fit the area where you want uh, maybe uh, the paper that you want to uh, to print in you want that table uh, or the chart to fit in so you can just use the handles and do uh, everything about that so uh, like i said you can move this to whatever corner that you want you can just move it to that corner or maybe any other point in that cell and then you have several more options when it comes to now the charts you click on this plus icon here and you have several things you can either add or remove now you have the axis you have the x and y axis so in case maybe i want to remove that or maybe to change them then you can either remove them like you see i don't have anything right now and uh, right now i have them so they are back now before i start uh i'm making it a little bit uh not even confusing at all let's start off by creating a chart that only contain a single item so what i'm going to do here i can just go ahead and uh, highlight the first column there and then go to insert then you go to charts then you can go ahead and select the one that you think will be good for you so you can just click on that drop down and select one of the charts that you think uh, will look good so i want uh, like this one okay i can just go ahead and uh, go and look for a histogram in, uh, instead of that I can go ahead and uh, look for a pie chart but uh, let's uh, first of all work with a 2d one and then we can just navigate our way up now let me make it a little bit larger you see the only thing that we are representing here you see this is the north which is not the title and uh, the bars are represented by the entries that you have here you have the first one second one all the way up to this point so this is a chart representing only a section of that data you might want maybe to add something else maybe i want to add west also so it's easy you just click on this filter option here you click on that and you can see we have several things but then the only thing that i need 
uh, to have and by the way you can use this to either select or unselect what you have there like for example i want to remove uh, the fifth one after clicking or and un unchecking on it you see we just you can uncheck like that and then uh, let me just check on the one then click on apply and you can see now uh, we don't have uh, the fifth one you only have the four options there so let me just add it back click on apply and you can see we have it so i want to add another like for example i have west here and i want to also have the bus for comparison click on select data and uh, you have this pop-up this will help you in so many instances uh i can first of all just remove everything so that at least we make everything i look uh um because I want to add instead of now, uh, like you can see now, uh, here you have one, two, three, four, but I want uh, January, February, March, April, it is your the way. So I can just remove it first. And now you can see now the chart is empty, doesn't have any data. Now I want to add that. Click on add and you are going to have this pop up. The series name. So what do I need? What I need here will be now the name of that table. That this will be the north. Or maybe I can just called because i want to have several i can just click on a sales region and then the series value uh you might decide to have either everything now running uh, from uh, january all, uh, all the way up to may but um so let me first of all change uh, the series name to because you want to add the first one and then the series values will come from this uh, point here now from this all the way up to may let me just move this a little bit so now we have the chart the chat name will be now north and then now we are going to add everything here so you click on okay and you have the first entry there and you can see even the table uh, the, the chat is populated now i want to add something else i want to add west you go ahead and click on add you're going to have the same and uh, for this will be the west then you go to the series whatever you'll find there delete and then highlight where you want uh, to get the data for your chat like i i own mine from that point click on okay you can see now i have the uh, the second one there i can go ahead and add another one i want to add all of them so just go the series name south i go here let me remove that and then uh, this is south so i write all the way up to the end then click on you see we are adding and then the final one click on that i want this to be east i want to remove everything there then go highlight where your data is then click on ok now i have uh, all of them there are four and um like you can see here um the horizontal axis i don't want to have this i don't want to have one two three all the way up to five then i think that i want to have other months so you can click on edit and then you can just go ahead and make sure that this is where you've placed your cursor go to your table this is where i want them january february march april up to may and then i click on ok i click on ok and you can see here instead of having one two three four you have now january february march april and may so that's on that axis so remember um, you have some more options you can make your table a little bit larger like this one uh but you can go ahead that's now about now adding the the, the individual entries now uh there's still another way let me first of all remove one of them uh let me remove east which is the first yeah the last one is east click on ok i actually want to just delete that click on ok you can go ahead and uh, highlight your east like that Control copy you highlight your table Control paste uh let me see yeah you just paste it and uh, it will come there let me just undo so what you're going to do like you can see now we have uh the three of them we have north west south and we don't have uh, east now instead of now adding through this option here you click on that you go to select data which is now the most recommended you can use that you can just uh, go ahead and uh, just copy the data from one of the table then you go to your charts and then paste there like this just highlight then control c to copy then you highlight your table then control v and you can see we have a new entry so this this new entry will be now uh for the east okay so let me just add it so it's supposed to so we have east and then i just click on okay we have all of them now there now in case maybe you want to change the color for individual bars 
remember you can just double click on it like that and you're going to have this option here or uh, you can just go ahead and make sure this is selected you click on home then you use the normal font um, uh, the, the format that you use so you can see everything is grayed out apart from now you can see the only thing that you have here is the you have the field color so you can just draw click on uh, the drop down and select another color like this one here see you can be able to change that as uh, even now uh, for example you have the fonts here like you have maybe you have the title let me just take back the title I have the axis title make sure that is checked and uh, uh, so we have the axis uh, chat title sorry we have the axis title and then we have the chat title let me first of all make them a little bit larger now you see for the chat title you can be able to go ahead and uh, make the changes you can do to just any other normal font on your on your screen so you can change maybe the color like uh, i can change it to that change it to maybe something darker you can change the field color inside where you have selected you see you can change as as many uh, of the options that you have there as possible okay so now when it comes to now your charts you can go ahead and uh, either add or remove some of the attributes that you have in your charts and you do this by clicking on this option you have the plus icon you click on that you have everything now in case maybe you don't want to see the access you just uncheck you see they just go they come back the axis title like for example on the bottom here i can go ahead and uh, change the axis title to something else let me make it a little bit larger for us to see the axis title you can change this to months and uh, this is the new customer so i can go ahead and uh, um, rename everything there so that it matches what maybe i want to represent in that chart uh, you can go ahead and um, create data labels now the data labels like for example you have the first one here the second one uh, you want to see what is represented there so you click on this plus you go to data labels click on that and you can see now like for example the first one here which is 22 should be 22 so you go all the way to the highest which is now 89 and you can go ahead and see this is in april and it's 89 so you'll have that label on top there in case you don't want that you can just go ahead and uh, click on plus and remove that in case maybe you want to change the location of where that's uh, that the label is appearing from you can just follow this i uh, this arrow here click on it and you have uh, several other options and you can see the preview uh we have uh inside we have this is inside the base this is at the bottom here inside and then you can have this totally outside you can just create a call out kind of a uh, pointing to where that data is and then you have more options which when you click it will open uh, this side by here with uh, the the options that we saw earlier so you can just go ahead and do as much as you want okay so uh for this other one here this option so the styles you click you click on that and uh, you remember when you are talking about the chart designs you can go ahead and choose it and uh, maybe you want that you want that you want any of that so it's the same as when you go to the chart designs and then look for this option here in the middle so these are the chart styles so you can just go ahead and do that but now uh you have you have this just directly uh, besides your chart now you can see for example here instead of maybe of just going all the way to start changing the colors you can just click on this option here and uh, you can select what color theme that you want uh from there so you have the color palette here which will now help you choose the color that you want maybe you want to create a certain theme that represent maybe your company or something you can just go ahead and uh, maybe use this either you know, this option here or just go ahead and uh, on the um, ribbon here you can see we have the chart colors you can just go ahead and uh, scroll through to see what color fits uh, your your chart now uh i'm sure you've seen this uh, icon uh, we we clicked on it and then you have the the ways maybe you want to present your data you have to have error bars you have to have maybe the legend uh it's usually very good to have it so that uh maybe in case maybe someone doesn't know what is represented by a certain color you can just cross reference there and uh yeah, the trend line this will come in handy in case maybe you want to know the trend of your data 
the same case uh, like when we were creating um, trend lines within the, the cells the same case will apply here you want to see the trend of a certain like I want to see the trend for the north you can just go ahead and uh, click on the north or west or south etc you click on OK and you're going to see the trend that they are projecting themselves towards. You can see this is an upward uh, trend. So yeah, it will help you in giving you a certain direction. Yeah, so you can uh, check or check. Maybe you want to see now this time for the south. Click on that. You can see also they have um, an upward trajectory. Yeah, so that will be the trend line. You can check them or uncheck them. So the table will depend on what you are there. The chart will depend on what you want to see here. So you have the controls here or on top here. You can see you can add or remove and uh, the elements. Click on that. You can see the axis. You can either remove them or add. You have various options and you can see uh, the primary vertical. You click on that and then you have this the calibrations along that. You can also even decide to have uh, the axis along the uh, the vertical or the primary at uh, the primary horizontal or the primary vertical so you can just go ahead and do that uh, everything you can change even the trend lines and the type you want to have here you might want to have a forecast line so you can just have it here from this option the adding uh, elements so when it comes to layout uh, the table what do you want that table to look like so this will be just physical how do you want uh, that table to look like you just you can select the templates here that looks best uh, maybe you want to group them you want a space in between them you don't want you have you want to have a table and by the way let me show you uh, the data uh, the data table you have the chart here but maybe you might have a really huge table but uh, you don't know you want to see exactly what's represented by that by that chart be because like you saw you can select a certain section on your chart on, on your table sorry and uh, it will be here so you want to see what data was used you just click on this plus icon here and uh, make sure that you check this the data table click on that and the bottom here you can see all everything which was used in this chart you can see we have north west south in case you remove one of them then one will disappear so this will give you what's being used in that uh, data so if, in case you don't want to see that you uncheck that okay so i want to go to now the pivot uh, the pivot charts the pivot tables and uh now you can see this one for the normal type of a chart this is just the normal one you just put your data on a table you don't, don't need to convert that to a table you can just have just a rough table like this one and you can just insert your data accordingly now in case maybe you add data to this sheet you'll have to go here manually insert that and again by the way uh, just as uh, by the way you can uh, decide to embed a chart you want to create a chart and embed that into your worksheet so what you do just make sure this is one of the cells highlighted there then you press on f11 and you can see it will create a new um, worksheet and call it chart one because maybe you create another one you call that chart two three all the way so you can see we have everything here you go back to the charts this is our table this is where it's getting the data from and you have this so just just pressing on f11 to embed that chart so not interested in this so you can just go ahead and remove it and uh yeah so let's go back and uh show how you can <coughs> you can remove the chart so maybe add one let me just create this one i like so remember the way you add your data will be several ways you can just highlight everything like that control copy just go to your chart control v then you're going to have everything there you can just go ahead and uh, click on this filter option here uh, let me just remove everything the filter okay i'm not going to deal with that right now so i'll show you a good way of doing that control copy control v so we have the charts here uh, select the data so this is where you can be able to manipulate some of the things that you have here like for example you want to switch the columns to rows you click on this it will change them so it will switch them and um, yeah you can go ahead and for example this will be the first one the second one and the third one and you, you see uh, we have the series one two three all the way up to five but remember yeah it kind of highlighted more than was necessary 
uh, that will come in later. In case maybe I want to have the first series on top here, you just highlight one of them, like for example, the first one here, you click on uh, this option here. You want to, for example, have the yellow one, which is now this one, you want to take it all the way up to the top. You can just select it and uh, just do what you want. You can take it all the way up to the top or all the way up to the bottom. So yeah, can use that. Uh, and again, you can use the chart data range. You can just instruct that where you're going to get your range from, from this option. You just put your cursor there. You go highlight your the source of your data or deleting a chart. So it's easy, very easy. Just go to your chart like this one. Make sure it's highlighted. Like for example, your, your cursor out there, you clicked on that. So you go click on your chart and then you hit on delete on your keyboard. Okay, so I'll go to the pivot charts and I have my data here, kind of came with a big table. Let me remove some of the entries I have here to make it a little bit smaller. Or not, just, let's just have it uh, just looking like that. So when you're working with pivot tables, pivot charts, this is where you have a dynamic data. Let's take for example, you have um, a website where you are, you are generating data from or you're just exporting data from and uh, it's a dynamic one. So data will keep increasing there. So what you need to do is you want to have maybe a power query going there, fetching the data, then coming here, bringing it and bringing that to your table. And after you do that, then you need your table to expand to accommodate the new data and also have that represented in the chart either automatically or when you just click on refresh. So um, that will make you go now to the pivot charts, pivot tables. And uh, you first of all, before you do anything, you make sure you convert the source of your data into a table. This is where I have my data source. So I might have connected this to another worksheet, a website, a database, etc. I can convert this to a table by pressing on Control T. You can see the borders covering the whole of uh, the entire of my, of my table. So you just click on OK. This is a normal table. So you have this table, then we have a pivot chart and then we have a pivot table. You're going to see them in a minute. Uh, by the way, if you want to change how your table look like, you can just go ahead and use some of the templates that you have here. You might decide to use this one. You click on that template and everything will change to match the theme or the style that's there. So in case maybe you don't see any of them, um, which is representative here, you can just go ahead and click on this drop down, and you can go ahead and choose any other that you see that will look better. So we have several of the new styles here. You can just click on new uh, table styles if you want to customize that, but I want this one there. So this is the table. It's just a normal table. And you remember in case maybe you go ahead and add data here, uh, don't know, Maybe I should have done this uh, in other areas. Control copy. Don't know whether it will bring issues. I right click and then I paste this as values. You see the table will move. You can see here the table will just adjust to accommodate the new set of data. Now, if you had just a normal, a normal um, table and a normal chart, you'll have to now go back to your chart and add the new rows that you've added. So in this case, let me just fall do that and uh, then we can now start talking from uh, now having the chart. Now, how you do that, make sure that you have a pivot table and uh, you do that by making sure first of all, you have the normal table like the one I have here. And then from here, you can just go ahead and uh, place your, your one of them, just, just click anywhere within that worksheet. And then you can go ahead and click on insert and uh, you can see how you have pivot charts, a uh, pivot table, sorry. So you can have a pivot table, uh, pivot charts, or at the same time, or you can just start off from a pivot table. And then from the table, you can create now the charts. Let me first of all, just create a pivot chart. Uh, uh, click on that drop down. You can uh, either decide to start off with a pivot chart or a pivot chart and a table. And this is what I want. I click on this, it will give me exactly both of them. So this is what you want. If you click on that, you're going to have a, this pop up. And uh, remember, every table usually have a name. In case maybe you don't have a name for the table, they'll start uh, giving themselves serial names like table one, two, three. So I didn't name mine. So this will be now the table, the only table that you have here. So, so if it so happened that you don't have a, 
a table let me just do that for example i have this one control copy i want to create a new one let's, let's go first of all go to the charts control copy i want to create a new one where we don't have a, a table in that in that worksheet so you can see this is just the normal one if i so happen to like go go back to insert and i want to insert a pivot chart uh and then i click on uh, the, you see you don't have the table so i click on okay and you can see the data source reference is not valid because uh there's no chart which is inside the whole of this sheet so there's no way you can be able to grab one and that's why uh, the first thing you usually do first of all is to create a table and because we have it here if i just go ahead and uh, create now the chart you can see automatically it's picking one of them so if i have several of them here i'll just go ahead and uh, uh, select one of them but now this is that i am selecting a table of range if i have an external data source you can just go ahead and uh, check this and then you choose the connection but i have one within this sheet and i want to create a new worksheet i don't want to mess at this table i want to have a new uh, pivot table pivot charts in a different uh, worksheet so you just make sure this is checked and uh, you click on okay so after doing that you can see now we have uh, two press holders one will be for the table the other one will be for the chart and uh, we can now start now filling whatever we have in our pivot table and I, I want the country name I want the region if you just check they will just populate themselves and uh, some will just pick the rows uh, it will know that this is the value so th that will go to the values or region just go ahead and uh, maybe select all the one that you want I want maybe up to that point you can see our chart here which is this one here it's growing and I want to make it larger so that you can see what's going on so you can see we have countries and uh, this is so tiny I don't know that you can actually even see because you have so many entries we have Africa we have the whole continent here with all the data and we have now uh, like you can see in our columns we have 87 88 89 all the way up to wherever you want to go up to if you want to go out all the way up to 96 you can just do that so that's how you go about that now you can make this to be dynamic such that you see it's connected to our uh, the pivot table uh, the, 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 the you, you see the, this is the table maybe this uh, table is connected to another um, data source so in case maybe you add something here or remove let me remove something like uh, let's move move something all the way up to maybe the end here you see our table will shrink i go back to where we have that and then uh okay so this is all checked it should it should work let me go back to the data and then refresh refresh all and you can see now this will narrow down so i had set my uh the my my excel to be to be automatic so that in case we this a change then it will refresh but then in case that does not happen you just click on refresh even if you have connected to an external data source you click on a refresh to go pick that data and then uh, it will just reflect here so let me just go back and uh, make sure everything is back so we have taken back what we had and you can see now we have our table representing everything that we have in our pivot there so it will grow according to the data it will be dynamic now uh to make some perspectives here I want to create a filter which will be able to like filter out using the slicer method. I want to filter out maybe I want only the Africa or the Asia etc etc. I can create a slicer. So a slicer is an advanced kind of a filter and uh, yeah you, of course you can go ahead and start filtering using uh, the, what you have here. You can just click and uh, filter that but i want a slice of something nicely looking and also something when i click to be just purely just a single click and it will be dy dynamic so you go to insert after clicking on your table or maybe your chart here uh, you can go ahead and insert go all the way to slicer click on slicer and then click on what you want to sort your data with i want to use the region click on ok and you're going to have this slicer here you can either expand or make them they are now um, going down 
you can make them go horizontal by just either clicking on them then going to the slicer this slicer option will, will open here i want the columns and they are they are five so I press five there hit on enter and they are going to go horizontal i want to resize it so this will be now our filter because maybe i want to have only a table for africa click on that you can see everything will be dynamic uh americas asia Oceania, you see, they will just be as dynamic as uh, whatever will be on the data here. Because if I may just remove this, if you just observe the table, I click on Europe, the only thing that I have there will be Europe. And also even you can by the way create your slicer for your just normal table, your normal table. Uh, let me just go back, go back to the table here. Make sure uh, you've selected one of the cells there. Go to insert, then you go to the slicers, click on that, then the region, uh, click on OK. And you also have the same slicer. You can go ahead and uh, maybe I want to have only, in this table, I want to have only for Virginia, uh, Europe, Asia, America, Africa, ETC. You can go ahead and uh, use the slicer also in all of them. So this is uh, kind of an advanced way of sorting your data because maybe you don't want to have all of them you maybe you want to clear your, your your filter you can see this icon here you click on that and to reset so in case you want to delete that you can just highlight that you delete it will just go away so this is just a beginner so there is a lot that you can do with a chart so you, you can create dashboards you can create as many and by the way in case maybe uh, you want to work with the rest like for example you want to work with instead of um, the bar charts, you want to have the line charts, they follow just exactly the same thing we did. You just go select uh, your data, uh, like we did here. You can go ahead and uh, select the type of a chart that you have. Uh, let me first of all make sure that I have that back so that at least I highlight this. Now, you see I have the chart with me here. Um, maybe I'm not, um, I don't want to work with this. I want to change the type. The only thing that you need to do, you can just right click on uh, the chart and then you can click on uh, change the chart type. You're going to have uh, this pop up with all the options that you can have. You have the line charts, you have the pie chart, bar, area, etc. We have the map. I don't know whether mine will work. Let me see whether the map will work. Click on that. Okay, let's go ahead and click on OK. Uh, so that will not bring anything because I don't, I don't have the country names. I can go ahead and I click some. Let me see if I can be able to get them. Instead of the countries, let me just paste. So it may take forever to load, but if you have the countries and uh, the numbers here, uh, the data that you have, it's supposed to give you the data, but that this will uh, require internet access. So this one is loading, although it may take some years. Okay, this will not work today. Okay, let me just go and change the type to something else like a scatter graph. If you want that, you can just go ahead and maybe click one of them, click on OK. You have the chart. So basically, this is just about changing the type of the chart. Do you want to have the donut? Go to the type, you go to the pie charts, you click uh, to the donut, click on OK. Maybe you want to have a 3D chart or just a normal 2d chart uh by chart you just click on that and then it'll go the same way the same uh, the same thing will happen to when you have the pivot chart you can just even select the donut etc etc so yeah that's about the changing uh, all of them i don't think uh, this is anything new but then we're going to have some more advanced features when it comes to now the advanced level when it comes now the, to the charts although this was supposed to be in the advanced then the slicers etc the pivot charts but because your level is a little bit higher, so I decided to just introduce them here.